I'm going to have a look here at another really interesting kit, which is the uh, Zvezda Models 135th scale Soviet Tank Hunters with Dogs, it says, World War II. And um, you can see the really nice box art here. I'm guessing um, you may know what this device is here. And uh, you can see the dog here approaching the tank. We can see on the back the CAD drawings of what you actually get in the box. You've got one soldier here with his dog on the loose, I guess, and this guy here, and another guy here. I will open it up and see what we get in the, see what I actually get in the box. And one guy has come loose off the sprue. It's not a big deal. The warning sheet, the mandatory sheet, and the Zvezda instructions. And they give you a little bit of uh, history here. And a nice large sheet. Should be easy to uh, figure out how to put these guys together poses here and they give you color calls they're all in um, Russia or they're all in Russian but they call for the model master colors over here I'm not sure if the model master paints are gone now or not if they're out of production these colors here they may be Zvezda colors but uh, we can't get where I live you can't get uh, Zvezda paints anyways so that's the instructions. We will have a look at the actual sprues here. And uh, you can see the uh, thick winter boots on this uh, soldier right here. They are supposed to be like that. Like they, it, it looks like they did a bad sort of mold on there, but actually those boots, they're, they're just kind of weird looking like that and they're not actually that bad. So we can see uh, some parts here in the helmets. There's actually liners in the helmets. Which is really neat. You never get liners in the helmets. That's, that's excellent what they've done there. And the tools here. And equipment. And you can see the detail on the, mega, on the magazines for the, the Papa Shah there. They look pretty good. And they're separate from them. Which is cool. And I'll go over here. You can see how he's got the strap in his hand there. And the inside of the dog. And here's his uniform. They're detailed. It, um, very nicely detailed. And there's Mo's in there. And it looks like the actual bolt right here is separate from the gun itself and there and he's holding the gun I'll flip it around so we can see some of the better details on the dogs here um, I should mention I didn't mentioned it on the uh, box because I didn't want to say the B word because of uh, YouTube but I uh, I can maybe say explosives which uh, if um, you didn't get it from the uh, photo here these are uh, actually explosive dogs you can see the switch and the dog is pretty nicely done he's alright and the equipment and the helmets for as plain as these helmets are they actually are nicely detailed and here's the other dog and the head sculpt the head sculpt is is pretty excellent 
and the other dog, he's a little more bushy of a dog. You can see his little bomb pack there. And the uh, Mosin with its separate bolt. The, actually the muzzle end of the Mosin looks a little bit kind of off because it's a little carbine. I'm guessing it's a Model 38 carbine because it doesn't have the bayonet on it. And the dog here. It looks like an excellent kit. Like the, the detail on it is very good. Um, the, it's an affordable kit. It stands up with anything else. It's such a unique subject. I thought I would just uh, show it here. This is the Zvezda Soviet Tank Hunters with Dogs World War II. Um, it should say properly, it should say Explosive Dogs. And uh, again, the uh, really nice box art actually. And uh, this is uh, the Zvezda. Our kit number I didn't mention before is 3611 and 135th uh, scale. This is a highly recommended kit, unique subject. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching.